coats so far. First coat, very, 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 very sheer. Two coats now, and I think I might stick with two coats, but you know me, I always end up putting three. We'll see. Well, I put three on this hand, and I leave two. I leave two on this hand. We'll see what happens. It's quite nice with two coats. Quite delicate looking. Quite nice against this background, so I might. Right, um, I've used two coats of this so far. I should put the light, I always like to do it in the natural light so you can see it in natural light first. And then um, I should put the light on and you can see it with the daylight bulb. Okay. I should put, I shall put three coats on here. It's got a nice delicate look. I'm glad I persevered with this particular uh, essential oil nail polish by L'Oreal and not gave up after I nearly did give up after the first one I used the um it looked lovely when it was first applied and it smelt nice but my goodness didn't it chip very quickly the um Grenat Irreverent I don't know if I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong I probably am this one's demand Demand, demandy, demand, I don't know how you pronounce, I'm so sorry. Demand, apre, midi. Something after something, isn't it? Apre means after, doesn't it? I'm afraid my French is pretty terrible. But, um, wouldn't be diamonds after mid midday, would it? Or diamonds after midnight? <laughs> I am being totally wrong. It's probably, it's probably a phrase or something. Anyway, never mind about what it means. I'll, I can always find out later and... It's number 220. I got it from Asda. They're the only place that I see still sell L'Oreal nail polishes. No one else, Boots, Superdrug, no other outlet I've been to, is still selling L'Oreal nail polish. So there's three coats now on this hand and there's two coats on there. So we'll see how this goes on throughout the week. I do like it. I think I always like these pale delicate colours. I was going to use Essie's Fiji but um, I couldn't quickly lay my hands on it. Let me just get any darkness out of the way because that webcam as you know washes things out when it sees darkness and we end up in like <laughs> washed out shades of grey or look, looking like we've got a grey filter over everything so there we go and I should do my usual throughout the week to see how it goes on and, and I'll be back at all being well at the end of the week. Blah, don't need to waffle so much. I never know. Instead of just saying okay be back next time. But bye. Just continue with it. Uh, um, oh, oh yes. Um. 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 Oh. And. And. and um. Oh. Oh. oh shall I? Oh. Uh, um, mm, mm, uh, this is what an terrible anxiety does to someone. And then I feel the need to explain. And then that's people are saying. And I feel the need to explain. And it's just antagonising people, no doubt. So, but. Oh, let's have someone to help me. Oh can't even remember her name now, isn't it terrible? Oh, dr dr uh, cl cloudy sky, and it is a cloudy sky today as well. It is, but do we match? Do we match? I don't know. One thing I feel I must say about this, it, it, not in its favour, is that it that one of the claims I've read about this particular nail polish design is that it's got a drip free drip proof wand now this nail polish these types of they drip more than any other nail polish i've known so that nail polish that doesn't even say it's non-drip i've had perfectly fine doesn't drip but this one just holding it up to photograph it to show the brush there was a great drip coming off the end it nearly landed on my laptop so and I just caught it in time and then it went down around the outside which meant I had to wipe the outside of the bottle otherwise when you go to open it again it's stuck and you can't get it undone because it um, seals shut once you've got nail polish on the outside of the bottle as you probably know you can put Vaseline or grease around the stop but yeah so that's one of the worst designs for drippage I've ever known in, in any nail polish ever and yet one of the selling points is it's a non-drip design on <laughs> who are these people that's what I'd like to know that, that 
Words fail me. I could go on and on and on, but I will So, um, that looks quite nice, that side. What am I doing? I'm getting mixed up with my haul video now. We're doing a nail polish video. The Memento. I do go digress. I know I go off onto tangents. The nails on Saturday after applying Wednesday has done very well. It hasn't chipped at all this manicure, which I'm very pleased and also quite surprised about because, as you know, as I've mentioned many times, my first experience of using the oil-infused nail polish by L'Oreal was very unfortunate. But this one's done very, very well. I think it means Sunday afternoon. Dema Dema I don't know why I thought it was demand. I was thinking of diamond. Demand... Um, demand... Apre midi, um, Sunday afternoon. I mean, I, I know apre means after and midi, midday, but um, yeah, demanche, I think it is demanche, not demand, because that would make sense. So, yes. I looked up demanche and it said Sunday, so I presume it's Sunday afternoon. So, it does, it's done very well. And as I said, everyone else is watching the royal wedding, but not me, I'm not. So, <laughs> so uh, I can do this instead. So there we go. Saturday, doing really well. I love this. It's lovely and glossy, and it's got like a sort of porcelain finish. And then, even on this hand, it's still fine. So I'm really pleased with this one. Very pleased. <laughs> Mark's about to scrape my nail on the wall, trying to file it down, but it's broke, broken off. Dear. Right, this is a comparison I'm showing. There's the one I'm wearing, the Sunday afternoon. I'm not going to try and say it in French again. Something après midi. Sunday après midi. And um, this is the one there that I'm touching. And the one next to it is Nude Demoiselle. So I'm going to put on my toes as a, my first pedicure of this year so far. As you can see, the um, pink one, that Sunday afternoon, is pink. Is pinker. Oh, as I was trying to say before it shut itself off, this one's pinker, and this one's more beigey colour. So um, that's the difference between them. This is um, Sunday at midi, and this is a uh, nude demoiselle. So on my nails is the Sunday afternoon, and it's nude demoiselle on my toes. Here's the nails on Monday after applying last Wednesday and look, still perfect. Um, this is the best one yet of the oil infused nail polish by L'Oreal, this Dimanche uh, Pro Midi. I think this is an old one as well and it's done really, really well. This is what I'm using in the bath this week. Does not irritate sensitive skin and look how good the nails have done after a week, of, a week tomorrow of wear. So from this, what? him in there. From this initially being my first experience using this type of this nail polish was very bad with the Grena Irreverent shade. This is the best one yet. The Sunday afternoon. Demarche up midi. This is the best one yet. Absolutely lovely. Which has lasted a week away. This is the Demarche at pre midi Sunday afternoon. Okay. Done really well. Really well. This one is absolutely excellent. One of the best yet. Really very, very good. I'm so pleased with this. I, I don't think they still make it though. You'd probably get it online, but it's excellent. Complete opposite to the Granata Reverend in the same range. Wonderful. Even, even on this hand, which usually fares very bad, I've just applied a face mask, which is something I never use usually, and there's some of that on my fingers, but yeah, this is really, recommend this, excellent. Mm. 
like in this last two weeks. Yeah. This is nearly at the end of the second week of this nail polish and it's done really well. Of course it's chipped now and it needs to come off but it has last, it's really surpassed itself. Here's the nails after two weeks and it's certainly surpassed itself this time. And bath time! And this is what I'm using in the bath today. This is what I'm using in the bath today. I haven't used this one for a long time. This one today. I'm at my friend's house. <laughs> That's where these things live. Oh, well, probably still seem to have... Oh, that thumb now. That's, that's lasted so well, apart from the few chips there. But two weeks. Very good. Oh, the sound of that dryer next door has only just stopped. Oh, my goodness. So much trying to relax. Anyway, thank goodness it seems to have stopped now. Oh, this is the nail after two weeks. After two weeks wear. Really, really good. And the second bath type with this nail polish. Oh, I've got a nice lot of foam for my bath time. And I'm going to try and relax now, if possible. Oh dear, it isn't always easy. But I do like this nail polish. Highly recommend. I'm taking the nail polish off today and this has been the two but the full two weeks and this is the last day of May, the 30th of May and it's been on for two whole weeks. So to make up for that Grenard au Reveron which didn't even make it through half a day without chippage, this one certainly made up for that and surpassed itself. So yeah, I can recommend the um, oil infused nail polishes by L'Oreal if you can still get them anywhere because the only place I've still seen them for sale, the nail polishes, is in Asda. Boots don't have them anymore. Superdrug don't have them anymore. I don't know about Sainsbury's. Don't go there now. Tesco didn't have them. Not the um, nail polishes. But yeah, so they're really, really good. Apart from the Grenat and Reverend. That might be alright if someone else used it. But it didn't last for half a day on me. Even though it looked nice. But this one, Sunday afternoon, Dimanche, uh, if, uh, at Pre Midi, is absolutely brilliant. <laughs>